Hello, welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. Today we're going to be drawing Hugo. Um, he's a character from Fable Haven, if you've read that book. Yeah, my son has been reading Fable Haven this summer, but listening to it, which we love audiobooks because he's able to do chores and go on walks while he can listen, so it's awesome. All right, let's get started. So Hugo has a rock, dirt, and grass body, right? So we mm -hmm. decided we'd have the head be rock. So we're gonna start with a curve right here. And then it kind of goes out to the side on both sides. And then from there, I'm gonna do a swoop line for his eyebrows. And I'm just gonna go over these lines. Okay, and then we're going to draw a line in and down. And then the same thing over here. Yeah, good job. So that creates the nose. This looks really good. Okay, so now the eyes are just kind of like a shadow underneath there. And then you can do like a little line down on each side. And then like a little line underneath for the nostrils. Now we're going to make kind of a rectangular shape out of those two lines. Nice. Okay, so now there's this little line there and little line there. And then his mouth is just like a straight line across. Cool. Now, his, we'll do his chin first so that we can do the side of the mouth in just a minute. So right here, kind of down from that line, doing just a little line and then a diagonal line, and then a straight line under the mouth. Then we're gonna do the diagonal line, straight line up. Okay, and then We're going to have another diagonal line up and then it kind of curves out like that. And then from right here, kind of making cheekbones. Nice. And honestly, if it's not perfect, it's no big deal because there are like little rock cracks and little like um, cracks in the rock and crevices that you can put all over him. So it's no big deal if something didn't go exactly how you wanted. Okay. So now his shoulders are made out of dirt and his head and it doesn't really have a neck. <laughs> it just emerges out of the dirt. Draw it about right there. Nice. And then he has some rocks that kind of represent pecs. Mm -hmm. These rocks kind of represent his pectoral muscles. Why did you call them pecs? Um, that's what the shortened term for them are. I've heard of daddy saying that before. Yeah, people call them pecs instead of pectorals. So there's, there's one, and here's another, and I'm just trying to make them look like a cool rock.
Then you can add some cracks in there. You can even add some dimension to them. Some more cracks. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now his arms. Well, actually, let's draw his hands first. Oh, yeah. we should draw his arms. Well, I want to make sure we get his hands in the right spot. So, angle down from that rock and start right here. And make this V shape. And then we're going to curve down and then out. And then another curve. And back in for his thumb. And then we... Make this curved line. He's got his fist folded like this. So there's one finger and then one more. And we're just giving him three fingers and one thumb. All right, and now you can see why I connected it because I wanted to make sure it fit. So now you can draw an arm line right here and then another line here, and you can do some rocks along the edge. Like, we'll do two along the edge of his arm. And then later we're gonna add in grass all over his body. That looks so good. So now we're gonna draw a rock that's at his waist. And actually, there's going to be two rocks. So one's more of a circle rock. And this one goes along his waist. And it meets up with that rock. Okay. And then we're going to come over here and draw his other hand. Kind of reminds me of Thanos' hand. All right, so we've got... Oops. We've got a curved line going out here. This is going to be his thumb. And then a curved line there, and back. And then this comes down, and this hand's gonna be open. So there's one finger, two fingers, and last finger. And then make that V shape right there. Yeah. Looks good, okay. And then we're going to go up and make a rock and another rock. There we go. Now we're going to connect that arm up there. And then his waist comes down and tapers in and then it back out. And then we'll draw a rock right here. And another one right here. And then some cracks along here. I mean, where dirt is? Yeah. All right, so now we're going to draw right here down and then out that's going to be one foot and then this one will come down little rock and then out also so now we need to come on the inside and draw a little line here and then his legs go in and then back out and down. Then here's his heel and then it comes forward and we're making a big toe. And then we'll make three smaller toes and they're just gonna look like stones. Nice. Um. And if you can only fit that many, then no big deal. <laughs> okay. 
and then we're going to taper this way and then back out and then out again for the heel so like there's a rock right here if you want there to be and another rock below it if you want and then the heel you come out and then create the toe and then three or two other rocks. Okay, so I'm gonna add a rock right here and one where his knee is. And then another one on this side where his knee is. This one along his thigh. And this one right here. All right, so now if we don't see, oh, I, we want to add some cracks with oh, the black. I was just about to say that. Really? <laughs> yeah, just add cracks all over. Makes them look more earthy and everything. All right. Now we are ready to color and I won't switch it to time lapse because we can teach you a little bit while we're coloring on where everything's supposed to go. Okay, so you want the grass to be coming out in different spots. This is a lighter green. We're going to use two different shades of green and we're using the, the little side, the point, the fine point side. And it's just nice to have two different colors. It gives it some dimension. So we're going to put it all over his body. Like you can have it coming out of cracks in different spots. And there is going to be coloring going on around this. So you might have to go back later with the darker green, but that's okay. So you can start with that color green and I'll come back over it with my other color green. So I've got two different colors of gray. I've got a darker gray and a lighter gray. So the darker gray will take care of my shadows. And so kind of just, this is my shadow side. It's like the light comes from here. And so things over here are gonna have my shadow. There you go. And then you can go through with your lighter gray. And fill in. And you can even leave some highlights if you want. Like the nose. You might leave some. Looks like he's winking in mine. That's cool. <laughs> so sometimes it's hard to remember where's rock and where's dirt. It's actually not a big deal if you accidentally do some rock coloring on the dirt side, but or the dirt coloring. Yeah.
But just remember right here is his waist, so don't fill in those. Like that's the area between his, so like right here and right here, you don't fill anything in. That's empty space. So like, here's the edge of that rock. Oh, this is a rock? Uh-huh. And that helps you know where the edge is. Here you go with the lighter gray. So for the shadows on the dirt, I'm gonna use this dark brown. So the shadow is along the edge of this face and under his chin. And then along here. Right here, along this edge of the arm, and here, right here. Done. Where's the other side of this gray? I don't know. Yeah, that one might not have had a. Oh, here it is. There's the lid. I'm almost done with this dark brown, and then you can have it. Thanks. Mm hmm. So do those shadows. And then I'm gonna come in with this warm gray. It's kind of like a brown for the rest of the dirt. So I'm starting with this lighter brown color and just doing all the rest of the area that hasn't been covered yet. And then I'm going over it with this other brown color. And the mixture of those two makes a nice texture that's more like dirt. So if you have the availability to do that, go ahead and do that with your coloring also. All right, well, if you haven't finished it yet, pause it here and you can look off ours for a reference. Cool choice on the drawing. I love yours. Can you show it? I put a little jack o' lantern there. How come you put a jack o' lantern in there? Well, something happened about it in the first, first book. book, yeah. So they'll just have to read it and find out uh -huh. why there's a jack-o'-lantern in there. Okay. Yeah. So go ahead and read Feeble Haven by Brandon Mole, right? Mm-hmm. My son highly recommends it, and we hope you had fun drawing with us, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. We're going to draw Mandigo. Yeah, we're going to draw Mandigo next time, which is another character from Fable Haven. Uh-huh. <laughs> see ya.